Hey everyone, thanks for joining me back on 7-Line Cardboard. Baseball is back, and I couldn't be more excited, so I'm going to start this video off with the polar bear in the background, hashtag LFGM, and DeGrom, who pitched a great game in his first start, but the Mets did what they always do and gave him zero runs, so he got another no decision. But that's enough of these guys for now. There's a different player I want to talk about. At the start of the season, I reading a lot of content and I happened upon an article about the 1932 Bulgaria sport, Babe Ruth. Here it is in a BVG 3.5 that I crossed over from an SGC 4. Uh, it has good centering and the corners are decent. The photo is showing some fading and the back has a little bit of staining on the left, right, top and bottom. And another cool part is it's in German. So uh, translating this online loosely says, the baseball we know is beyond the ocean. Babe Ruth, the baseball king, makes $100,000 more than the president. Max Schmeling admires Babe Ruth at a baseball game in Ohio. So it gives us some insight into the shot on the front of the card. And even though the card is titled Bulgaria Sport Photo, it is one of the few tobacco cards of Ruth during his playing days. And the cards are distributed by Bulgaria Cigarettes. And I'll include a uh, link for the article in the description below. The article points out how Schmeling is likely the main athlete in the photo, considering it's a German-issued card, and uh, it's the only card in the set uh, with a baseball player in it. And the photo was likely taken when Schmeling was in the U.S. for a fight and went to catch a Yankees-Indians game in Cleveland in 1931. So I'll, I'll let you check out the article and read it on your own if you're interested. Another article I found... Just a sign of the times, what we're all going through right now, interestingly connects Ruth with to the flu pandemic of 1918. And I'll leave a link, a separate link to that article from the Hartford Current, uh, which is the paper in the state that I live in, uh, in case you want to read about how Ruth almost died of the flu in the spring of 1918 and how his appearances in Hartford in the fall likely contributed to the spread of the pandemic. And I find it eerie to read that the Harper Current was printing uh, headlines that read things like theaters, amusement places, and public gathering spaces are dangerous. And here we are, full circle, with no fans in the stadium, piping in crowd noise. So, that's all I have for now. Hopefully you enjoy the video the Babe Ruth card, and check out the articles in the description, and I'll hit you back with another video soon.